Hey, DeAndre, appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you. We'll get started here with Dave Zangaro and then Tim McManus. Hey, DeAndre, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What was, uh, what was your reaction to the trade? Uh, a lot of emotions, um, a lot of emotions all at once. But um, now that it's settled down a couple of days into it, I'm excited, happy, um, happy to new opportunity, new chapter in my life, in my career. Um, excited to be back home. Go ahead, Tim, and then Chris Franklin. Hey, DeAndre, uh, was it a surprise to you uh, that you ended up getting traded, and what was uh, Detroit's explanation for that? Uh, yes, it was. It was a surprise. Uh, there's no really explanation. Everything kind of went through my agent. Like I said, there's a lot of different emotions going up and down. Um, like, I'm, I'm excited to be here. But first and foremost, uh, thank Detroit for everything. Uh, to the city of Detroit, will forever have a place in my heart. will love them for the opportunity that they gave me to just go out there and live out my dreams. Um, but like I said, I'm excited for this new chapter. Go ahead, Chris, and then John McMahon. Hey, DeAndre, Detroit tried that tough love approach for you last year and during training camp. You know, uh, what was your response to how that went? And do you think the carryover, do you think it was fair, a fair assumption to think that you weren't tough enough by then when they're trying to put you through that? Uh, the way it kind of came off, I would say uh, I, I know who I am. I know what I'm about. Um, I know that I'm as tough as they come. Um, but with hard knocks and everything kind of kind of how to portray I didn't like it, but uh, I can't do nothing about it, but go out there and showcase what I am and who I am and what I'm about, and I know what I can do and who I am. Go ahead, John, and then Ed Krabs. Hey, DeAndre, welcome back. Um, what, what's, it, what's your thoughts about coming home to play in Philadelphia? Sometimes some guys like it, some guys don't like it, some guys could find it as a distraction. How, how are you feeling about it? I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful uh, for the opportunity to be a part of a great organization with tremendous history, um, a team that's connected. I can just by being in the building these couple of days that together uh, love each other. So I'm excited to build a relationship with the guys in the locker room and just be a, a part, a piece to the puzzle. Go ahead, Ed, and then Zach Berman. Yeah, hi, DeAndre. Um, I just want to ask you what you think, you know, have you thought about what your role might be here with the team? And, you know, I know in Detroit maybe you got lost a little bit, you know, uh, but what are your thoughts on your role in this offense? I'm taking it day by day. I'm, I'm so focused on just coming in here and just working um, every single day, just earning my keep. Whatever role they see fit for me, all for the way that I come in and work every day will be something that I earn. Go ahead, Zach, and then Rube. Hey, DeAndre, welcome back home. Uh, the other day, Howie was saying how the organization's known you since you were in high school. Dom's known you. What's your background with the organization? How well did you know those guys back in high school? Um, I was in the facility a couple times when I was young. Um, I went to St. Joe's Prep, so we practiced at the Novacare facility a couple times when we were in state playoffs and things like that. So real familiar with the area, um, with the people. Dom just told me him and a couple coaches came to my games in high school that I didn't know about. So it's kind of cool to hear the memories and things like that. Go ahead, Ruben and Jeff McLean. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, DeAndre, um, you mentioned that uh, in terms of... Jeff, we can't hear your audio. So Kylie, sure, we're about to do... Have you... Kind of going in and out, sir. Can you? John, we'll go to you. Uh, DeAndre, uh, just this offensive line, you know, obviously their reputation. Um, have you looked at it from afar? Have you kind of thought what it would be like running behind this group? Most definitely. Um, kind of stayed up last couple of nights just thinking about it. Um, like I said, great opportunity um, with this offensive line, with this coaching staff. With I'm in a great running back room, first and foremost, with the guys that have been here. Um, like I said, I'm just excited to get to work each day and be a piece to the puzzle. That's it. Rube, if you're ready, we'll go to you. Hey, yeah, I got a bad connection here, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I wanted to ask what you remember about that 50-yard run, I think, on your first carry or second carry uh, yeah. last year, and in general, just what your impressions were of the Eagles from, from the opposite sideline. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of wanted to get off to a great start. Um, 
I knew it was a great opponent we was playing against first game of the season. So I kind of wanted to jumpstart my season with a game like that. Um, I remember the run. I remember a lot of runs, the whole, basically the whole game. Um, but it, it, was, it was a good game for me. Um, Should have won the game, but uh, it, it was okay. We'll go to Zach and then Jeff. Hey, you guys obviously won a lot in high school. What did you get from the St. Joe's prep program? How did that, that form, I guess, the player you are right now? Uh, man, the prep helped build me character-wise on and off the field. Um, showed me, allowed me to mature at a young age. So when, like, when I got to college, I didn't really need too much. I was always the person who never told me, like, I'm self-motivated. Nobody ever tell, tell me to go do this, go do that. I want to get better each day. I want to learn. I'm always eager to learn new things and, like, never being complacent. That's one thing I'm big on. Like, I always get better at something each day. Go ahead, Jeff. All right, DeAndre, hopefully you hear me now. Um, I was just wondering about your experience uh, playing running back with a running quarterback, quarterback that, you know, that can be utilized in the run game in terms of the zone read. Um, what kind of experience did you have, and how, how do you think that will – um, played to your benefit with uh, Jalen Hurts here in Philadelphia? Um, I haven't had too much experience with a quarterback exactly like Jalen Hurts, but I'm a high school um, guy named Marquez. Um, Craig was like the closest thing to a running quarterback, but um, the things Jalen does in the passing game, run game, and it's the way I see, and I'm just outside looking at how he commands the offense, his leadership, and everything he brings to the team and organization. I'm grateful to be an opportunity to sit next beside him and, and play. We'll take these last three here. Go ahead, Ed, Tim, and Zach. Yeah. Uh, hi again, DeAndre. Um, Howie Roseman mentioned that you really got on the radar for a trade possibility when the Lions took Jameer Gibbs with the 12th overall pick. Is that kind of, you said you were surprised. Is that kind of when you were surprised is when that pick was made and you thought, now what? Most definitely. Um, I'm really going to get too much into it, but, uh, just just the not knowing factor, um, definitely surprised. But like I said, I think the, the city of Detroit, my teammates, the training staff, everybody in the building from top to bottom for everything that they gave me for the last three years. But I'm definitely excited for this new for this new journey. Go ahead, Tim. I can only, uh, you know, think about what kind of emotions you went through. Uh, can you sort of walk us through them? Like, you know, what you the way that you were feeling, like the different types of emotions and how you arrived at a place where, you know, you became excited about, about where you are now. Uh, you talking about as far as when it, like when the pick happened, what are you? What yeah. Just like the, how you process it. Um, you know, cause obviously we've never, it, it, we've it was never a, been a, it that. was a lot. It was a lot. Like you said, <laughs> it's a business at the end of the day. So like, I understand it, but it's my first time kind of dealing with it. So it, it was a lot of emotions all at one time. Um, still, it still is right now. Like I said, just the not knowing factor kind of, I'm not going to get too much into it, but um, it's past me now. I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm in Philadelphia, I play for the Eagles, so I'm, I'm ready to take on this journey each and every day and just go to work every single day and earn my keep. Last question here with Zach. Hey, if I can get two questions in. First off, the uh, Georgia players that the Eagles brought in the past two years, how well do you know those guys? And then, and then also, have you spent a lot of time back home during these past three years, or... Is, is is this your first time really being back home for a while? Uh, Georgia, the Georgia question first, I answer that. I played with Nolan, I played with Nicobe, and I played with JD. Um, it, that's just a testament to show the job Kirby and his staff does over there, preparing players for life after football and NFL next level. Um, so the Eagles definitely know where to go get their players from. But um, I do come back home a lot, see my family and things like that when I have time. But now that I'm back home, I'm, I'm here. All right. Thanks for your time, DeAndre. Thank you.